Afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, the drugs giant Pfizer has confirmed it will close its research and development site at Sandwich in Kent by the end of next year. 2,400 staff are currently employed there and Pfizer says that most of the workers will be made redundant, though several hundred jobs would be transferred to other UK sites and partner organisations. The Business Secretary Vince Cable said it was extremely disappointing, but the decision was not a judgement on the UK as a location for pharmaceutical research. Well, Simon King is a pharmaceutical expert with Data Monitor. Good afternoon, Simon. It is very worrying because these jobs that are going, these aren't low-end manufacturing jobs. These are very well-educated guys in research and development doesn't bode very well though does it it doesn't and it is a blow for the industry and, and obviously i agree with what, what vince cable has said today unfortunately it's endemic of the industry as a whole though i think at the moment um the the branded pharmaceutical industry is going through a fundamental change and uh suffering with patent expiries and pfizer is really at the front end of that and obviously this year next year it's going to be a very difficult difficult period for the company and i think what we're seeing is that the the cost-cutting which has occurred over the last few years has just taken another step today, basically. So you go along with what Vince Cable is saying, this is not necessarily a vote against the UK as a site? No, I don't think this is, this is anything to do with the UK. I think this is to do with the industry facing a period of fundamental change, uh, necessary um, strategic kind of transformation, and we've actually seen that Pfizer has been undertaking these cuts for the last four or five years, initially starting with salespeople, um, but, you know, increasingly moving towards R&D and the company itself is, is very much tailoring the, the, the diseases it's focusing on now. And I think that that's kind of that's falling in line with today's announcement, basically. Now, it, for these pharmaceutical giants, patents are everything. Um, now, quite a few patents are running out next year or the beginning of this year even uh, that are vital to the revenue streams for Pfizer. And I'm thinking of the anti-cholesterol drug Lipitor and, of course, the famous drug Viagra. Sure. Well, Lipitor, particularly in the US market, that's where the patent expiries tend to have the biggest hits. And Lipitor, I believe, goes off in November of this year. So the impact of that is going to be seen in the very early part of 2012. Viagra also loses US patent exclusivity next year as well. And I think it's worth considering at this point that I think based on the results that fi uh, Pfizer announced today, I think Lipitor alone accounts for about 18 percent of its prescription pharmaceutical revenues. So once that expiry hits, it's going to be a, a significant blow for the company in terms of revenues. Thank you, Simon King there from Data Monitor. If we flip the screen, hopefully we'll get the markets in our screen.